Hey guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to continue with My Hero Academia Season 10. Yes, at episode 123, Yuraruka is on the thumbnail again. Interesting choice. Uh, I'm a little sick, so forgive me if I cough or if my voice cracks or something. I have like sore throat and like congested sinuses. <clears throat> So, with that being said, that ain't stopping me from watching today's episode. Let's get into it. Oh, I also forgot Endeavor got shot with that attack too. Oh, I thought they would show us one more time. Maybe at the end of the op opening, they'll like re-show it. But like from Deku's point of view, looking at Bakugo getting hit and I could just imagine him about to explode in rage. <clears throat> wow, but... If you think back, wow, season one, I know a lot of people hated Bakugo. I wouldn't say I hate him, I was just like, eh, he's just a character that's like really loud and it's just like, Psh. I did like that he always put Izuku down, but you know, everyone treated him like the jerk that he is, so I just like, whatever, because usually when there's a jerk, like the whole class likes the jerk because he's popular or he looks good or something but i love that everyone in class a was like oh bakugo is just like the hot-headed dude like and now i'll tease him and stuff and i remember seeing izuku is just like oh my gosh um kachan is like being teased and he's so shocked by it this is right before they went in the jsd i forgot right before they met all the villains for the first time on the bus and then now look at him. He's pushed Izuku out of the way. He's like, my body moved on my own. Yeah, and someone told me, oh, it's like Haku from Naruto. I love that comparison. Oh, and someone also told me there's a lot of censorship this season. That's why I, some people don't like it. I don't know, I'm enjoying it. Oh, look at his face. Body. Uh, oh my god, he looks like all for one now with the white hair. <clears throat> oh, I guess he already had white hair, but looks more like. Uh oh. Oh my god, he bit it, and look at his eyes! Oh my god, Izuku, if he got... If he gets touched, his quirk! Oh, but first, the brothers want to...
Is he in offer one? They're in the 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 mind plane. What's it called? So you didn't even want his master to go. He... The rest of us will take care of it? The ones within us. <laughs> Chills. Okay, now we see the broadcast. Oh, Giganto. Damn, I hope all the civilians are out of the way. Oh, he feels two masters. Go, 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 guy on the skateboard. It looks so cartoonish. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh, hiya. You would so regret it if anything happened to them. Because they saved him in season two. Wow, it's like an ashy sun. It's not even cloudy, just sand or something blocking the sun. <laughs> I would love to see how she died, right? Her whole backstory. Nana Daime. Also during the transfer. Quirks have memories.
Oh my god. Oh, I thought we were gonna meet the other users. Oh my gosh, hello! He looks so pleasant, like such a lovely young man. <laughs> he kind of looks like what <laughs> Shigi would look like if he didn't go crazy. Wow. Man, even though Shigi said he wanted to get rid of him, I don't think you'll fully get rid of all for one. He can't even move right now. Wow. This guy has got what it takes. Izuku, we pass. Oh. Stand, go. withdraw for now he might ignore his master though all for one one for all no Damn. Oh, and he... oh, this was a little bit back. I mean, they might make it to catch Shiggy to destroy this place.
man, I'm just thinking like the repairs for all of this is going to be huge. Mm -mm. She needs to know. She's gonna go. I think because she's a teenager, she's not sure of like her life, her future. So she needs I love that it's not like, you know, walk cautiously. It's like run, run, run. Just try not to get the debris on you. Oh, shoot. It's almost here. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, no, 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 it's a trick. I don't know. Do you think that person is, uh, is, um, oh my God, I can't think right now. Toga. I feel like it's Toga. Toga versus Ochako. Yeah, she don't want regret. The next chance she gets, she's going for it. I knew it. I knew it. Float. I float up out of here. Oh, no, you didn't.
Oh man. No, this episode is too fast. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, honestly, to be honest, I wanted to go back to the Izuku part, but I understand we didn't have time. We're just focusing on like the side. Well, I mean, we did get like a good part where um, All for One is uh, interacting with uh, One for All. Wait, did I say that? Whatever. Yeah, so what's it called? Shigi is uh, still trying to resist his master, but like his master doesn't even like mind at all because he knows he's always going to be there. Plus, he's like, you know, to be like a symbol of fear, like you need to have this rage, this anger. And damn, it's like so insulting. He's like calling his uh, grandma like, you're dead, like you're just a piece of nothing. Yeah, but like Shigi just holds all type of like hatred for his grandma. She was never there. No one was there. I thought he was gonna be like, why are you there for Izuku, but you're not there for me. I thought he was gonna think that, but there's like no room for like anything. His only emotion is like anger and destruction. Right. And I love to see a uh, one for all original first user, the little brother. I'm sure he was briefly shown like last season or two seasons ago, but like it was so fast I somewhat forgot. Preview. Oh my god, I thought he had to withdraw. Maybe not. Oh, I'm so scared for Nejire. Oh, fudge. Giganto Makia is here. Da okay, Bakugo is fine. Dabi's what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Dabby's, Dabby's dance. I next episode looks like it's gonna be a good one. Ah. All right, this episode was okay. I think I like expected a lot more, so like I partially hyped myself up, but it wasn't bad. Like I said, we saw the interaction between one for all and all for one. Oh my gosh, when Izuku bit the like, uh, what's it called? The quirk steel bar that went through Bakugo and Endeavor. What's that thing called? I don't even know what shrapnels. And uh, at least Bakugo is okay. Like I thought he'd be more hurt than he was. And like Izuku raged for like a bit, but I thought he was just gonna go crazy this episode. So I guess like my expectation wasn't that much. And like, cause right after that, All For One just like took over kind of, and like he touched Izuku. At that moment, I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, first thing you think is, oh my gosh, is Izuku's quirk gonna get taken? But I guess, like, during that moment, like, his inner mind starts to take over and they're both in, like, this plane. And the uh, All For One explained, like, whenever he takes someone's quirk, he also kind of takes their, like, consciousness that's left in the quirk. Because everyone's quirk is still, like, someone's DNA. It's still a part of them. So there's still a bit of, like, the original user's consciousness. So when he's interacting with Izuku, he sees Shimura Nana. I would love to have seen, like, the other users, but it just showed Nana and uh, One For All. And uh, All For One is saying how pathetic and useless that Izuku is, but, like, they're like, we don't agree. Like, this boy is the one who will be able to overcome everything, and he's not just looking out for himself. He's, like, caring for others and will sacrifice if necessary. And then you see, like, the colors of light just, like, going around and, like, into Izuku, and, like, they just pop out of it. Izuku looks okay, just a bit tired and worn out. And uh, it, I think uh, All For One said, like, they didn't have enough power or energy to, like, go through with taking his quirk. I mean, yeah, they're both tired, so I guess we'll have to see next episode because, you know, when the anger and the rage come through, it's like, it'll just explode out of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, when Izuku is super angry rage, his eyes turn into like, it, it kind of looks like what Kurogiri's eyes look like. Yeah, like a ghost fire kind of thing around his eyes. And then the second part, we go to uh, Gigantomachia, just rampaging through the whole place. Um, they said 100 kilometers an hour. So I'm gonna say it's a little more than half if you want to go miles per hour. But that's like still really fast because he's really big and heavy. And like, you know, he's smashing through all the buildings. And I'm just wondering how much is it going to cost to like fix all that? Because like it's a beautiful work of architect to like build this skyscraper. And then he just like tramples through all of this. And like all of the civilians are like, trying to get out of the way as fast as they can because he's like right there he'll he'll get to you in like a minute or less 
And uh, during this time, on the laptop, the long-haired guy's like, wait, he sees Ochako and Suyu, and uh, Toga's like, I want to go and uh, see them. Because she has this, like, she's crazy, right? She's got this psychotic idea of friendship. So she needs to know if they see villains as a person, too. Like, was Jin's life nothing? Was he a person? I, I, I don't know if Ochako has the answer for her. And she didn't ask that question. The first thing she did was she's just like a crazy serial killer. Like I wanna, I wanna be a friend. I wanna be a friend while holding a knife and is about to like stab through Ochako in this like creepy huge grin. Yeah, I mean if it was me, I would never have gone in. But like I said, all these heroes are very like I thought I would have met one hero that would be like so terrified that they would run. But all these heroes are still. This is my fault. We gotta do this. We are responsible for all the people. We gotta save people. That's priority. Like. These people are so self-sacrificing, like I said, for the bajillionth time. But it just amazes me that nobody has like, oh my gosh, this is too scary, let me run away, right? It's like all the heroes have dropped what they've done and they're like going towards stopping Gigantomachia or like Toshigi endeavor like you know everyone is doing something nobody is sitting there and like waiting even like the students want to help but most of the pro heroes are like you know you're the last priority we don't want you guys to get her because you guys are still students you're underage so of course they don't want the students to jump in and Genia, like uh Ida over there my two friends have went in and they haven't come back totally forgot about Bakugo <laughs> I'm just kidding when the moment I saw the old lady I was like I knew it was gonna be Toga I'm like she fooled us like twice already twice um she's not gonna get me a third time yeah i mean i was doubting just from the way she was running because no way that old lady can run that fast but i'm like maybe she has a quirk so or because i was thinking or maybe toga could like kill that woman in front of her but i guess she did it off screen and took her blood or something if, if i was ochapa i would not go in that house i would definitely just like go get help or something because you're gonna need help to fight toga but maybe she feels responsible so she's like i want to do this myself me versus toga i'd say it's the a bad idea but like maybe i don't know if suyu can catch up because like they ran pretty fast and oh man when suyu almost got like hit by like this huge rock that got slammed into the building i was so scared but thank god uh uranaka like uh, quickly like grabbed her out of there toga's one crazy bitch and uh yeah i i'm just gonna feel like uranaka is gonna reject her like we're not friends okay you killed so many people don't ever call me that and then maybe it'll make her go crazier and i wonder if she's gonna ask the, cre the question next episode about like twice a person like what do you consider me like I, I'm just thinking because she's like 15 16 or something so she's trying to figure out her identity I don't know I know she had like a bad middle school experience just because her quirk feels more villainish so like you know when people reject you it just makes you actually go the other way so in one sense I feel bad for Toga's backstory but at the same time like you chose this path I don't know it's hard to say because you're not in that person's shoe. Like, you wouldn't understand all the pain that they have to go through. Yeah, it ends with the episode where Araka kind of like touches the floor. I wonder if she's going to make the whole house like float up. Can't you do that? Because like it's stuck to the ground. And uh, we end. The preview looks promising. Talking about Dobby's past. That looks really good. Because like, you know, people's questioning Dobby's flashback. So if we get to see that in like his family. I guess we'll have to see for the next episode. That is it for the reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave your comments and thoughts. I'm sure to read them. And see you guys in the next reaction. Peace out.